This has been so difficult. I've been riding my motorcycle through the pouring rain. It's been absolutely nothing for the last 45 minutes. It's raining. My bike is about to run out of gas. My phone's about to run out of battery. Um, we're in the middle of nowhere. Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of Ireland to Japan on a motorcycle. No idea what episode this is, but today we're in Kyiv, Ukraine, once again. And we are fleeing the city because Putin just announced that he's gonna mobilize 300,000 more Russian troops and there's a possibility of using nuclear weapons. How real is the possibility? I don't know, I'm not a political commentator. That's not why you are watching the channel, or at least I hope not. I got a lot of, I got a lot of uneducated takes, but um, no longer feel safe here. The air raid siren started going off today. I'm getting the hell out. Yeah, it's a real shame. I mean, I knew what I was getting into when I came here, obviously. Um, but I, I have really grown to like Ukraine a lot. Yeah, I feel oddly at home here in Ukraine. I'm, I'm not sure what it is, um, but I feel more comfortable here than I did in like France or Germany or even Ireland. It actually is really weird and paradoxical. I feel more at peace here in Ukraine in a war zone than I do in those more expensive countries. And this is something I've wanted to talk about for a while, but I go through a lot of shit when I travel. I got food poisoning in Poland. Um, I don't know, this bike has been giving me trouble. Crossing the Ukraine border was not easy. Traveling is hard, especially traveling long term, like not staying in resorts, fucking living an easy life. Like we've been actually, we've been fucking earning it on this journey, guys, the last five months. We've been sending it, fully fucking sending it. And um, it's been hard, right? But it's hard in the, in the physical realm. And I, I don't want to sound too woo woo, okay? Bear with me here. But in the spiritual realm, like me and the way my soul feels is uh, liberated. I feel truly happy when I'm traveling. And to me, that's enough. Like I can, I can put up with the shit, I can put up with the food poisoning and being in a war zone and, you know what I mean? Like my tolerance for bullshit is actually pretty high because I'm doing exactly, exactly what it is that I wanna do with my life. Exactly, like dead on fucking bullseye. I am riding a motorcycle I am in a foreign land. I am making videos for you guys. I'm sharing it with the world. I'm having fun. I really am having fun. Like this is exactly what I want to do. I never want to work a real job. I never want to have another boss. And you know, we're on our way guys. We're, we're on our way. I can't say we've made it there yet because I'm still struggling for money, but the Patreon has helped. And thank you guys so much for everyone who's joined the Patreon or sent me anything on Venmo or PayPal or whatever. Like you're, you're literally making my dream come true. All that goes to say, I am so happy with my lifestyle, right? Like this, the only thing that's missing is money. And that's fine for now. You know, like I think the money's gonna sort itself out because I'm doing exactly what it is I wanna do. And I feel really privileged. Like, I feel like not many people actually get to do that in their lives. And I've been able to do it for five months. I, it could end tomorrow. I could crash this bike. I could totally, I could end up in the hospital, whatever. It could end tomorrow. But I, I know that I can say I've done it for five months. And I, that makes me really fucking happy. Oh shit, I think I should get off here. She. Yeah, fucking A, dude, are you serious? But you know what? Like I said, this could end right now, but I've still I've still done it for five months, so I'm really happy with that. So thank you guys so much for watching the videos, for liking them, for leaving comments, for fucking supporting me on Patreon. Anything you can do to help me get down the road is is incredible, and I really appreciate you guys. I could not do this without you. freezing my little American ass off. It's time to go inside somewhere and get warm for a second. Restaurants? Shit. 
cold, very cold. Cold, no, da? Cold. Куша? Да, ты какала? О, окей. Латте? Хорошо. Яко? Париж таки. О, looks good. Париж. Oh, what is it? It's like a, like cake. Cake? Okay. Not the best. Not the best. But it's sustenance. And I'm relaxing in here and getting warm. Super good, good. All right, we are departing the middle of nowhere at night. Something I usually don't like to do on a motorcycle. I think it's quite dangerous to ride at night. Um, but I'm trying to get as far as I possibly can today. This is kind of what I was mentioning earlier about like being kind of uncomfortable in the physical realm physically uncomfortable, but happy spiritually. So military checkpoint. Um, so, sorry, I, I only speak English. I'm sorry. You are Christian. Christian. Duck. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Yako, thank you. Why did they ask if I was Christian? What is going on up here? Well, I don't think uh, my video was recording, but for some reason, all these cars are stopped. I just pulled up and there's soldiers here, cops. I, don't, I have no idea what's happening. They asked me if I was a Christian. It's a checkpoint of some kind. I don't know what it is. Oh, there's Jewish people. What the heck? Like Yiddish Jews, I think. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't speak Ukrainian. Uh, English? I'm sorry. Dobre, hello. Uh, I'm hotel, uh, sorry, English? Go to Uman? Uman for a hotel, Doc. Uh, where uh, hotel? I think it's here. Oh, sorry. Uh, you... You... Uh, you country. USA. USA. Doc. Uh, uh, Passport? Uh, Hasid, yeah. Uh, maybe... Yeah, right. Uh, uh, this passport. Passport, okay. Passport. Yeah. Doc, what is uh, this? Um, oh, only Jews are allowed in this area. Okay. Understand? Uh, okay. Maybe you go, 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 this, this, and this. Okay. Yes? Uh, this. Me, no. Uh, no? No, me, no. Uh, no, uh, uh, no. Okay, yeah, yes. I understand. Jew, me, no. Uh, no. Me, no. In Proso Trist. Ah, Okay. This, uh, go, please. North. Okay. Go. Yako, thank you very much. What the hell is this about? Now we gotta find a hotel somewhere that's not in that town. He said there's only Jews allowed in the town. Like, I, I, I have no clue what's happening. There was buses full of Yiddish Jews, like with the little, I don't know how to describe it, like little pigtails or whatever, like the special hair and the hats. Or Hasidic maybe? I don't know what they're called. Orthodox? I don't know, I'm not sure. It's not me though. I don't know where I'm going right now. <laughs> I'm just, Riding aimlessly through the night, looking for a hotel. Ah, fuck! Drop my glove. Damn it! This is not good. This cannot be fucking safe. Is it? Is it my glove? Ah. Uh, fuck! Where'd that bitch go? God damn it! Where the heck 
are you? Come on. Please. This is not safe, dude. I am walking. Is this it? Is this it? <gasps> That's it. Oh. Oh. Thank fuck. Wow. This is what I'm talking about, kids. This has not been an easy day of travel. But it's all worth it, baby. Because we're free. I don't have a reservation. Well, guys, I successfully checked into this hostel in the middle of absolutely fucking nowhere. And we have our friends back here, our fornicating kangaroos. It's a kangaroo themed hostel. Not sure why. Uh, tomorrow, we got another long day on the bike. Another long day. But we'll be entering a new country. Can you guess what country it is? We're going south. Hmm. Maybe look at a map. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Hello, people. Welcome back to Ireland to Japan on a motorcycle. Today, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere, Ukraine where I thought we'd be safe from air raid sirens, but alas, I was wrong. This morning the air raid sirens started going off, thus solidifying my fears of a Russian invasion. I don't know how real they are, but you know, you only get one life, man. You can't really <laughs> fuck around and find out. Well, I just stopped on the side of the road here to clean off my little fucking face shield. It was getting really foggy because of the rain. And I almost crashed into this truck because I couldn't see. Started skidding. Almost completely ate shit. And now, check this out. Yeah. <sighs> see, this is what I was talking about, guys. Uh, this shit is not easy. Wait, no. Wait, no. Oh, wait, I need your help. No, 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 no. I was going to, oh, fuck. I was going to ask him for help. God, wait. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bump start it. Get a nice push start there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Woo! Well, that wasn't a bump start, but I'll take it. I don't know what's going on with the bike. Case in point, kids. Travel is not always easy. <laughs> Well, all right, guys, we stopped in whatever town this is for a little look around and for a bite to eat. I don't know what this is. Wow, very uneducated with this part of the world. I have no idea what's going on, but it looks very fascinating, doesn't it? Let's take a look around. So I guess this is the town we're in. Uh, what's that say? Ra, love, yeah, whatever that says. And it's all taped up, wow. <laughs> I can't imagine any influencers are taking a picture with this. <laughs> Look, we have our little guard dog over here. The town guard dog. He looks like he's not to be fucked with. I will not fuck with him. Nice little town square here in uh, this place. It's a kick. It's a good kick. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, this is the bike. This is the bike. You like it? You like it? Tell me, I need your, I need your approval. Good, good? Good? Oh, thank you. You wanna hear it? Look. Please start, please start. <laughs> He's a legend. <laughs> a speed demon. Don't give this kid a license, god damn. <laughs> nice dude, super cool. Dobre, hey. Привет. Привет. Hello. Como estás? Hey, my friend. Dobre. Hello. This guy's talkative. I don't know what he's saying. He's cool though. You rode the engine real hard. One day you're gonna have a moto just like this. 
No, bro. Don't steal my money. <laughs> He's trying to steal my bike. He's trying to steal my He's fucking taking over my, my motorcycle. That looks like the fucking Avengers glove on you. <laughs> Putin Huru. <laughs> right? <laughs> you guys, cool guys, cool guys. What's the town we're in? Where are we? Here, Tut, Tut. Heisen. 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 Cool guys of Heisen. Putin Hula. Putin Hula. <laughs> Oh my god, I can have that? From the подарок від української армії. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm honored. Wow, Yako. Thanks, man. Fuck yeah. I'm part of the Ukrainian army now. Nice. All right. <laughs> Yako, you. Thank you. Amazing. Slava Ukraina. Hero Slava. All right, guys, my time has come. I'm going to go fight the good fight in the trenches of the Donbass. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Wow, fucking awesome people here. And this kid is still following me around. No, don't take it. <laughs> there you go. All right. He's helping me. Okay, now it's time to fight in the army. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Crazy times here. Doc, doc, doc. <laughs> This man just took my helmet. <laughs> it's his channel now. POV. <laughs> Don't run off with my helmet, dude. Oh, the plot thickens. The army man wants to sit on my bike. This boy over here just bought me that energy drink. <laughs> This boy is wearing my helmet for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. This is awesome though. We got patches, baby. We got patches. Where'd my patch go? Where's my patch? Where'd my patch go? Oh, it's around here somewhere. Oh yeah, Doc. You like, you like? Good, good. Like. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving, dude. Huh? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're saying, bro. Okay. Yeah. Yes? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, bro, chill, dude. I feel targeted. This kid's following me. I think he's asking for a ride. Yeah. Nah, bro, I gotta go. That kid's definitely a bully in his school. 100%. Or maybe, maybe I'm just a pushover. <laughs> Bike. I'm about to freeze. Dobre. Dobre vece. Hello. Uh, uh, a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. Just, it's closed. Is there a cobble? Place to buy cobble? Uh, okay. Jako. Jako, yeah. Oh, I'm like really shivering actually. I'm fucking freezing right now. Oh, the sun is almost going down. I need some heat. I need some warmth. Try this at home, kids. Touching your hand to the fucking cylinder. Oh, okay. Fuck. Alright, I got some sustenance. Whew. Nah, this is it. This is it. Nah, stupid, stupid American. <laughs> it's this way, this way. Okay. Okay, Jako. Guys, I am so cold right now. My hands are numb. I think I'm having a panic attack. I just drove through the countryside and there was absolutely nothing. I'm talking nothing, no people, no stop signs, nothing, nothing, nothing. 
and I'm like, oh, I'll just pull over. I'll just pull over when when I see something, but there's nothing, dude. No, no place to get warm. I'm losing feeling as my hands out and, and my feet too. Like the cold is real on the motorcycle right now. I think I'm having a panic attack, but is this a kitten? Kitty? Sorry for the, the graphic image. But life is fucking brutal out here. There's really nothing going on. I mean, this is like the most infrastructure I've seen in probably 30 minutes. There is a ton, a ton of poverty here. Oh, look, a car, civilization. Almost no infrastructure out here. I mean, these people live in, in severe poverty. So hopefully, hopefully there's a gas station or something I can get a little bit of coffee and keep going. Oh, well guys, my hair looks ridiculous and that port is closed. It's been closed for two years. <sighs> probably could have found that out on my own on the internet, huh? Yeah, probably could have saved myself some time. But the Border Patrol guys are very nice. They told me exactly where to go. So we have another hour on the motocicleta. Yeah, probably could, fully, fully could have prevented this one. Fully could have prevented this, but hey, you know, that's... That's life, baby. That's how we travel. We don't plan shit. <laughs> well, guys, the bike's dead. Mm-hmm. Yep. The battery's dead again, even though I gave it to a fucking mechanic in Ukraine to fix. It's not fixed. All right. So the plan is I'm going to bump start it, which requires getting a running start, going down a hill, throwing it in second gear, and letting out the clutch. Whatever. You don't really care. But basically, I'm going to run it down this hill and try to start it. But the problem is, there's a huge... Here, I'll show you, I'll show you. See, we have a lovely mud puddle right here at the bottom. So basically, I have to get it started. Turn right onto Vulica Ivikov Skogo, then turn right onto Vulica Savi... I have to run it down here and get it started before this huge mud puddle. And if I don't get it started, well, I'm pretty much fucked because I can't really walk it back up this hill on my own. Back on before she dies. All right, give her some gas. Oh my god, it fucking worked. Oh, right next to the death puddle. Oh, we, we got so lucky. Oh my god, this has been so difficult. I've been riding my motorcycle through the pouring rain for the last 45 minutes. The, the road, the the board of security guys told me to take it has just been nothing. It's been absolutely nothing for the last 45 minutes. It's raining. My bike is about to run out of gas. My phone's about to run out of battery. Um, we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. And um, I'm freezing right now. My hands are so cold. I finally just found civilization, so I'm going to go inside and get warm. Go to it. Go to it. Ooh, so cold. Yeah. <sighs> Very cold. Uh, uh, English, no. Yet. English, no. Um, like, uh, Cabo? Yeah. Uh, Budlaska, latte. Americano, espresso. Uh, latte, latte. Latte. Budlaska. Oh wow, I'm so happy to be back in civilization. Oh my god. Look. People. Lights. Oh. I would partake, but uh, I'm very cold and I wanna flee the country. Oh, let's see if the bike works. Please fucking work. Please work. Please start. Yeah! <laughs> We're in business, boys. Welcome to Moldova, guys. We finally made it. It's 12.30 in the morning. Things took a little longer than expected. I got caught in a nasty rainstorm. Had to stop the bike. I was freezing my little ass off. But here we are in Moldova. Fun fact, there's no hotels 
where we are in Moldova. There's no hotels. The closest one is right across the border in Ukraine. There are many hotels right across the border that I just crossed in Ukraine. Also, fun fact, the closest hotel in Moldova is an hour away. It's an hour away. So, I'm gonna get on the bike and ride there. <sighs> I was so stubborn on leaving Ukraine that I really shot myself in the foot on this one, didn't I? But look, we're in the beautiful industrial complex of wherever the fuck Moldova. Look at us, guys. We made it. We made it. We did exactly what I wanted. I asked for this. I asked for this reality. And this is what we get, baby. So I'm gonna ride on a sketchy Soviet road for an hour at midnight and uh, rock up to my hotel around 1.32 in the morning. Remember earlier in the video when I was talking about how I prefer this life? I prefer it to be hard because it allows me to do fun things. It allows me for my soul to feel free. <sighs> that theory is really tested right now. I really just want to lay the fuck down and I don't want to ride the bike in the cold anymore. But uh, yeah, here we are. This is the life we chose. Let's go to some other random town in Moldova. Check out the digs, guys. We got a fatty room. It might be a little too nice. I legit just rolled up to this hotel at like 2.30 in the morning, knocked on the door, had to wake this lady up, and she booked me a room. What a legend. And it cost 450 L. I don't know what that means. You just wrote that on a piece of paper. I don't know how much this room costs. Hopefully it's affordable. Uh, it is very nice. It's a little troubling, a little worrying, but um, I'm really lucky that we got anything. I'm lucky that we're not just sleeping on the goddamn floor. I passed a few churches on those dirt roads and I was like, I bet you I could sleep in there. I bet you I could. That's where my mind has been today, guys. Can you feel my manic energy? I'm going a little crazy. <laughs> today was like by far the hardest day I've had on the motorcycle. So incredibly challenging. Tons of rain. The roads were shit. Um, most of the ride was in the dark. The border crossing took a long time. I crossed through the wrong border crossing. Had to fucking go further north and find an open border crossing. It was difficult. The bike broke down. Almost ran out of gas. Um, what else? What else can I complain about? I don't know. It was just a really hard day, man. So I'm very lucky to be in this hotel room. I'm really, really exhausted. So I'm going to take the hottest possible shower I can without getting third degree burns. And uh, I'm going to relax and wake up probably around one o'clock PM tomorrow. It's been a 14 hour day. So anyways, guys, thanks for coming along. Thanks for embracing a hell of a few days on the road. I'm going to end it here. I think the next video will be us attempting to get in the So stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Peace.